Hello. Today I want to discuss or explain a little bit about automation degree of a solar module production line. And of course, automation is always um, more money, it's higher costs, and of course, it's also depending on the size of the solar factory. Automation degree depends very strong on the costs and on the size of the solar factory. For example, a 100 megawatt line normally needs semi-automation. It's, of course you can do also fully automated, but in my opinion, 100 megawatt is good for semi-automation. The price invest is about 2 million, uh, 2.5 million, 1.5 million, and therefore I think it's wasted uh, money to make fully automated. Once you decide it for a 300 megawatt line, then of course you should go to full automation. And this means uh, maybe 5 million, 6 million euro invest only for the machineries. And most of the machines are fully automated. Even there are some machines, for example, the chill test are not fully automated. For a smaller line, like you can also start with 20 megawatt, we do not recommend automation, even not low automation degree, but still there are some machines which are fully automated, like the stringer, like the laminator, yeah, and I think these are the most two important machines which are fully automated even with 20 megawatt. But I would not call it a fully automation uh, line. Let's now go to the second step. I would like to explain now what means automation. Automation, of course, is depending on machines. For example, the first machine of a solar production line is the stringer. And the stringer is even in a smaller line, like 20 megawatt, normally fully automated. This means the flux is dispensed or is added um, fully automated. The cells are loaded fully automated. The solar cells are connected with bus bars fully automated. The bus bars are loaded fully automated. So all the machines, all the machine parts are in fully automated load. And the difference between a stringer for small uh, capacity is only by taking the solar string, the ready-made solar string, into boxes and to turn it by 180 degree to prepare it for the layup system. This is something which is different between a small stringer and a big stringer, but all the other things are automated. <coughs> Just to add it on the table, stringer full auto means the boost bars are loaded automated. The flux loaded automated. The cells loaded automated. The connecting automated. The solder automated or let's say the soldering. It's the connection between the bus bars and the solar cell. The string handling is in bigger lines, of course, also automated, so I say for big lines. Yeah. Now you have a specification of the stringer to show how much automation degree you have. So you have this automated, 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 and this is, let's take it in brackets, in bigger lines, automated. The next machine, which is very important in the uh, production line, let's mark it with page three, is the layup system. 
And the layup system is for small lines, semi-automated. Yeah? It's for big lines, full automated. And although in that case, to take the strings from the magazines is automated. Not here, of course, yeah? To take the, or to do the centering of the string is automated. To place the string is automated. To, maybe to, to fix even some of the strings is fully automated. The string load is all fully automated. So let's now see the big version of the layup which is automated string which is automated with centering which is automated with placing which is automated with the string fixing and the string load yeah so we see this is fully automated line next machine next important machine is the buzzing and the passing for small machines is again semi-automated. Yeah, I don't have to explain it. But for big lines, it's fully automated. This means first you have push bar strings. Sorry, failure. Boost bar strings and they are cut it to lengths. And for one module, you need different lengths on the top, on the bottom, and in the middle range. You have the placing of the boost bar and you have the soldering of the boost bar. To the cells and this is now not so let's um, change it only here this is not so easy because this is the solar cell and these are the bus bars of the solar cell and this is the big bus bar yeah maybe this is um, 0.1 millimeter and this is Five millimeter. So you see the dimensions and all these points have to be done by the passing machine and you see when you have a small line maybe only with 25 megawatt and you do all the solder points by yourself then let's say it's a 12 bus bar and it's um, this is the cell string one cell string six yeah then you have 12 multiplied with 6 multiplied with 3 60, 72, 210, roughly 220 solder points yeah and this is a lot of to do it by hand and it's a lot of risk to do it precisely so the fully automated busing machine makes all of these actions automated even the soldering of the up to 12 bus bar, maybe 20 bus bar, to the five uh, millimeter bus bar automated. Next important machine is the laminator. And this is very special because even in a small line, my recommendation is small, but auto, yeah? Big, of course, also auto. There's nearly no difference between the small automated laminator and the big one. It's only the loading table or conveyor. It's the lamination um, area and it's the unloading. Yeah? In a big line, maybe the dimensions are always uh, um, different yeah like this 
you see in that case maybe it's 10 meters in that case it's maybe 35 meters yeah and the automation degree is the same of the small laminator and of the big laminator which means it's automated loading it's automated opening of the lamination area it's the automated closing of the lamination area it's the automating vacuum uh, um, doing the first three minutes it's automated heating it's automating opening the the top cover of the laminator and finally the module went out in that way this is in same here in out and this is in out so all these activities are done automatically now let's go to the smaller machines which are which are trim which is frame which is i call it led flasher because nowadays all the flashers are more led than xenon yeah so the trim for small lines is manual for big lines it's automated the frame for small lines it's manual and for big lines it's again automated and the led flasher for small lines is semi-automated and for big lines of course it's fully automated even in very big lines it's a combination of combined with EL, with iPod, with test, uh, optical test, optical test, with load and unload, of course, with packing. Yeah. So this can be even in one big. Um, LED flasher combined with EL testing, HyPod testing, optical testing, unload, loading and packing. Okay, this is some information about the automation degree to give you or to give an impression or an idea about the uh, costs. Of course, we have different sizes of Module productions, 25 megawatt, 100 megawatt, 800 megawatt. We have different automation degrees like manual, semi-automated with 25 megawatt, semi-automated with 100 megawatt and fully automated with 800 megawatt. The price range is very big. So it can be starting with 450,000 euro for a very small line but also up to 12 million euro for a very big line. If you are interested of one of that sizes like small, medium, big, just write an email and uh, we will send you an offer within latest one or two weeks. If you need more information about your detailed price for your configuration you can visit our homepage www.jvg-toma.de or send an email to info at jvg technology.de Okay, thank you. Bye, see you.